So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can run TGCF on your machine. Like you may have a Windows or Mac or Linux machine, uh, your uh, desktop or laptop computer that you are using. So how can you run TGCF on this? So uh, I already made a video about how to use TGCF. There is a separate video. So the link to that video, I will put it in the description. You can also find all the information over here in the uh, in this page where the code is hosted. It is github.com slash anik slash TGCF. So the links will be in the description. So what is TGCF? It is basically a custom tool uh, to forward your telegram messages from source to destination. You can apply lots of customizations. And if you want to know what are the features and how the interface looks like. So for that, you can simply go and watch this video feature overview. Currently, I'm shooting this video. So running on Windows, Mac or Linux, uh, this video, I will put the link here once it is done. So I'm currently shooting this video. Now for feature overview, you can just click here and open this video. So there you will watch uh, what are the features. Like, so you can see all the features that is there and how the bot that is publicly and freely available. DGCF with uh, your Telegram bot. You can use a bot account or a user account and how can you forward messages? How can you get the chat IDs and everything? Everything uh, about usage of TGCF is in detail discussed in this video. But now I'm actually going to discuss how can you run it on your computer, right? So if you are on windows, then in that case, you first need to install WSL. So I have already made a video on WSL. So you just need to watch the first 10 minutes of this video. This is a long video about one hour, but just watch the first 10 minutes where I have discussed uh, some introduction to some basic terms and then how you install WSL and then how you install Ubuntu from the Microsoft store. So you can uh, install everything just from the Microsoft store and over here, at around 11 minutes, 10 minutes at this point of time in this video, I have discussed how you use the APT package manager. If you watch till that, that is enough. So another thing is that if you are on Mac OS, you will probably by default have Python installed. Okay. See, uh, in Windows also, you can install Python directly on top of Windows. But thing is that TGC is uh, built on using Linux. So I personally use Linux and certain things are there which may break on Windows. So that's why you need a Unix best system like Mac or Linux. So if you are on Mac or on Linux, then you are safe. You can just run TGCF directly. But if you are using Windows in that case, first you need to install this WSL and then you can uh, follow my instructions. Now, first thing that you need to do after you install WSL, you open your terminal. In Windows, you can just search and you open your uh, the Microsoft terminal that you have. In case of Mac OS, also you have a terminal. Obviously in any Linux distribution, the terminal is the main thing. So first thing that you do is that you check your Python version. Okay. So by running this command, so your Python version should be above 10. So above 3.10. So uh, try to get the latest version of Python. We will constantly update TGCF so that it supports the latest version of Python. So you just first run this thing, Python three minus minus version. So in some systems, Python is recognized as just Python. So in some machines, it may be just called as just Python. In some machines, just Python may not work. So in some machines, you may need to use this Python 3, right? Now, if you are on WSL, if you have installed WSL and Ubuntu on top of Windows, then you can run this command sudo apt get update and apt get upgrade. This thing, this command will actually update your Python version to the latest. Now, if you are on Mac OS, in that case, you need to use some package manager for Mac OS. For that, what you have is this, uh, the home view. This is one of the most popular package managers for Mac OS. So how to install home view? You can just copy this command and you can just paste it in your terminal of Mac OS. After that, you can just simply run brew install Python 3. If you will run brew install Python 3, what will happen is that the latest version of Python will get installed. Okay. So installing uh, home view in Mac OS is very simple and it is a very popular uh, package manager for your Mac OS, right? So now let me see the progress over here. So this is it. So I have done uh, run this command. Now what I need to do is that I need to check if Python three exists or not. If it does not exist, you need to install it. That's the uh, primary requirement to run DGCF. Now there are some other requirements also. There are some special features of DGCF like for example, a watermarking or uh, like text recognition from images. Those features, if you want to use those kind of plugins for that, you need some other packages also. Those are not compulsory, but optional. Now what I need to do is that I use, need to use this pip package manager to install Python packages. Now I need to check whether pip is installed or not and whether I'm using the pip of the latest Python version or not. So pip may not be installed in your system, right? 
So how do you install pip, right? So for that on Linux, what you do is that you just simply run this command or, or also in case of Windows also, you can uh, inside Windows, you should be using WSL. So there you run this command, sudo apt-get install python3 hyphen pip and another thing we want to install that is venv, v e n v, right? So these two things, these two packages I need to install. Now thing is that I already have this, right? I already have this python3 pip package. I already have the newest version and this package also the python3 venv package. I already have the newest version of this. So nothing has been done on my system. But suppose if your system has old packages or if your system does not have these packages, then in that case, they will get installed. Now in case of Mac OS, in case of Mac OS, you just do the brew install python3, that will be enough, right? Uh, that thing will uh, your uh, download all the things that is required uh, when you install using brew, right? So first thing that you need to do is that after you have downloaded, right? After that, you don't need to worry about your platform anymore. It does not matter if you're using Windows or Mac or Linux. After this step, after the installation is completed, then the commands that I'm going to show you, they will run on all the three platforms, right? So the installation is a little bit different for the three platforms. On Linux, you directly have everything. You don't have to worry. On Windows, you install WSL and then on top of that, you upgrade your packages and all that exactly by using what I've shown now. And on Mac OS, you use Brew, okay? Now, the thing is that, uh, what I will do is that, first of all, I will create a new directory and you can follow the instructions from the written guide. I have written everything. So how you can install and run. So first thing you have to make sure that you have a Python 3.10 or above. You have that in your environment that you have to make sure. Once you have done that, then you can just follow these instructions. It is as simple as that. The first thing that you do is basically you create a new directory using the makedir command. Now, if you are on Windows on top of WSL, then this makedir will easily work and also Mac, Linux, everywhere this will work. So you create, let's say a folder named my TGCF. Now I need to move into that folder by using the CD command. Now I'm inside this folder, my TGCF. Now, first thing that you need to do is that I don't want uh, the installation of TGCF to affect other Python packages. See, actually in Linux, uh, in Ubuntu or in case of Mac also, some of the system packages depend on Python. So suppose you are installing uh, some package directly at the user level, then the pa some package versions may change and it may break and some problems may happen. So what we do is that we create a Python virtual environment so that uh, whatever we will install, that will have a separate and clean installation that will not mess with the system packages. So for that, what you need to do is that you just run this command. Now you run this command python3 minus env uh, minus m venv dot venv. So inside the dot venv folder, this will create a virtual environment. So you run this. Now this thing is actually different in windows, but you don't have to worry because you are actually running Linux on Windows. If you have followed my instructions, if you have followed this particular video, then you are actually running Linux on Windows, right? So you don't have to worry. Whatever commands I'm showing here, it will work on your WSL also, right? So the next thing that you do, you activate this. Now, if I look at what folders are there in my directory, I see a new folder .venv has been created. Now I need to activate this. So I will do source .venv slash bin slash activate. If I run this command, this will get activated. This virtual environment is now activated. Now I'm actually inside the virtual environment. Okay. Now I can install my TGCF. So for that, I need to run one command simple pip install TGCF. That's it. Now, suppose you want to upgrade TGCF to the latest version. You run this pip install upgrade TGCF. So this will make sure that you are installing the latest version of TGCF. So you just press enter. So when you're installing TGCF for the first time, it will take a little bit of time. But suppose you want to update after that, then it will be really fast. So here we go. So all the uh, dependencies and the packages that will get installed and everything will be packed inside our uh, virtual environment. So this will not affect other system packages, right? So things are getting installed. Be patient. You can fast forward the video a little bit.
so here we go tgcf has been installed successfully now inside my virtual environment uh, if i just run this command if i run tgcf minus minus version so this will give me the latest version of tgcf right so the next step that we need to follow is that you can just follow this written guide that we have so we install tgcf using pip and then we check tgcf version now for accessing the web interface we need to secure it using a password so what we do is that in that directory from which we are invoking tgcf in that directory we have to set the password using in a env file so for example i can simply run this command this will be like this so i run echo then inside quotation mark password is equal to then you write whatever password you want to give and then you uh, give this uh, forward arrows and then you write dot env so this will put the content in the dot env file now if i list all the files in my directory i can see that there is a new file called dot env and if i show the contents of this file then i can see this uh, file contains this you can use any text editor of your choice by default in ubuntu uh, nano is installed so you can use the nano text editor or any text editor whatever as per your choice but for simply setting the password you can write this command this echo command and in, after quotation mark uh, inside the quotation mark you write the password and then is equal to whatever password you want to set and you pipe it to dot env this file and after doing this command you just check whether the password has been set properly or not so you just run the cat dot env fine now we have to launch the server we launch tgcf web this is the command to launch tgcf so i just press enter so here we go so due to some reasons uh, in the terminal this url is not visible actually it is there but i don't think in the video you can see the color is actually such like that it's not getting visible this is due to my terminal profile actually let me try to change the color of my terminal so here we go due to some color problem i think this is happening yeah now it is right i change the color of my terminal now this is visible so it will show you the url where this is deployed right so you can click on this first url or you can just simply copy this you can copy this and open your browser and paste this so this will open the web interface for tgcf so i hope this is clearly visible and how you can use this web interface that i have already covered in a separate video in this particular video in this uh, features walkthrough video in this video i have shown you what are the features over here and how you can set up and how you can do all the settings and all this now any page you want to open any configuration page see the hello page is not password protected this is just information page so this is visible to anybody who visits this site this thing this hello page will be visible but suppose you want to enter any other page you need to enter the password now what is this password whatever password we have set uh, whatever password we have set that will be your password so we have set this hocus pocus whatever this is so you should set something some long password some secure and safe password so we give the password over here and press enter now all the settings and all these pages are available to us now how you can set up all these features and how you can uh, configure tgcf and how you can run tgcf uh, everything is described in this video in the features walkthrough video so the link to that video will be there another thing that i want to say is that suppose you want to run tgcf 24 into 7 all time see your computer needs to shut down your computers uh, need to have be connected to internet so there can be different problems that can occur but you can deploy tgcf to the cloud platform like digitalocean so you can use this link uh, to get a free $200 credit on DigitalOcean. If you sign up on DigitalOcean directly, then in that case, you will not get this free credit. You have to use this referral uh, code that I have given you. You just click here. In my video description also, in the video description of this particular video, I will give the link. Okay. And if you have any problems using TGCF, like if you have any issue, some feature you need, so you can uh, create a new discussion over here. And uh, right. So, also you can support this project uh, by sponsoring it and obviously you obviously should do start this project if you're actually user of tgcf you please start this and share this project url share the github page with others thank you for watching